Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today I'm here with Dandadan Dan episode 5 reaction so the previous episode we had the battle against Turbo Granny and uh, yeah so um, Okarun and uh, Momo both of them go to confront her and was able to lure her out of that tunnel uh, you know was able to separate those two as well you know the Turbo Granny and the location bound uh, you know crap uh, like you know thing um and eventually they were able to bring them outside and inside of kamigoe city where you know like the crab like just burst out and that is where we realized that the crab was actually you know like a, a mixture of a lot of souls of young girls who died in brutal ways who were murdered and you know like in, in that tunnel and the fact that Turbo Granny was actually going to all these places to console the kids, um, you know, than their spirits. So, you know, like we got to know that later. Anyways, um, yeah, we were able to defeat Turbo Granny and that was it. Now, you know, Okarun and um, <clears throat> Momo said goodbye to each other and said that we'll meet again tomorrow. That's how the whole thing ended. So let's see what we get to, you know what happens now after this whole thing and uh, yeah what new developments happen let us begin i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is the preference and let's get started right here's the countdown three two one go oh is he waiting for momo Probably. <laughs> yeah? Morning Hello Amateur. Wow. Oh, there she is. Good morning. <laughs> I think she's waiting for her friends or something. Nah, she's waiting for her friends. Is she, or is she? Wait a minute. No, she is waiting for her him. Or I I don't know. Yo, don't ignore her. Come on. Oh my god, she was waiting for him. I thought this was gonna be like the punchline would be she's waiting for her friends. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait, the title. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, they're different classes, I forgot about that. <clears throat> what the hell, man? Um, 
Yeah. This is rude. What the hell, man? <laughs> he brings out his stash of okay, alien, you know, goodies. Is, you know, Diwali here, so. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, so. <laughs> what? Wow. That is so cool. Both of them are like thinking about asking the other, the one that they like, you know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, this class is awfully quiet, you know, for a bunch of, you know, I guess teacher is here, that's why. <laughs> okay, you guys, you, what, okay, each are going to the other's class. She cannot tell Wow, they don't even know that. <laughs> yeah, you wait, oh, he heard that or. Okay, never mind. Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys are just gonna... Bruh. Okay, you guys need to exchange phone numbers at this point. Oh, she's gonna come and sit here. She's gonna come and sit here. Oh, never. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she puts her head down and he puts his head... Yeah, okay. <laughs> And this music! <laughs> oh boy. Okay, they're now going to they're, they're going to bump. I'm pretty sure. I damn. 
um, f phone, you know. All right, let's go back to class. Oh my god. All right. <laughs> oh boy. Oh no. Wait. Did he lose it again? <laughs> Damn, the whole class knows now. Um, I'm emergency. Um, okay, don't. Oh no, oh no. Okay. Damn, he's gonna get depressed now. They had their number. I do they have the did they exchange the numbers? I can't remember. I think they didn't. Oh, this girl in the opening. Hmm. <laughs> it's because I'm working out. Yeah. Wait! For a moment I thought maybe she's an alien or something. Okay, never mind, she's a human. Bah! Yeah! Okay. Okay. Wow. Damn. Okay, you... You need to... Oh my god. Yo! What the hell? Bro! Oh! <laughs> okay, that was actually hard. I thought she was going to just drop it on her head and she... She whacked it! <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, he wanted to talk about this. Yeah, he's lost it again. Nope. Yeah, well. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Good point. Good point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. What the? Wait, so is Turbo Guy not gone? Is, he, is she still in within him? Yeah, that's a. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I think she's damn. Okay, so something is in him. Yeah, that's something else. Okay. Oh! Oh no. Whoa. Oh, it, it went inside the cat. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, she can feel it. Uh, okay. What is that? Okay, that is Turbo Granny then. No, I think she probably like left a little bit of herself. 
in Ocarun? <laughs> oh, and she was keeping quiet. Ah. Hmm. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh god. Damn, she literally took it hostage. Yeah. Nah, man. Oh, wait, is he? He's turning. No, what? Whoa! Oh, no, she's. Okay, so. Oh, so her power is with him. Oh, so... Okay, that is... Very... So now we are the ones who hold the... <laughs> Damn. Tense? I guess he... <laughs> Damn! Yeah, because we got to know in the end like what she's doing, actually. Yeah. Whoa. No, I think she doesn't have it. What? Ah! <laughs> yeah, okay, now what the hell? Oh, okay, so this is the cat. Okay, like, I did feel it. I feel, did think that what the hell is this cat about? You know, in the ending, in the opening, we also see this cat. So, this cat is literally Turbo Granny. Oh, boy. So, she dropped it? Okay. Now, now what? We'll have to wait for someone to find it and hand it over to the police or something? <laughs> what? Lost and found box? <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh boy.
Is that something? Okay, no, that's it. Right, and that was today's episode. Okay, so um, turns out Turbo Grand is still here, and uh, like I was thinking, like you know, because I was like, if Turbo Grand is gone, then how is Okarum going to use his power? So I guess we have our answers now. And uh, so basically, um, uh, I asked his grandmother. She was able to separate Turbo Granny's consciousness and her spiritual power and the spiritual power is left within Okarun while her consciousness is inside that doll and uh, that doll you know so she's just um like she's just a moving talking doll that's it nothing else the power is with Okarun um so yeah so that's the thing now um today's episode was you know, kind of divided into two sections. The first section was that whole part where we have Okarun and, you know, like, Momo kind of, that whole section, you know, like, them being embarrassed and, uh, you know, like, Momo, like, hitting that girl on the head with that tub. And then the part with Turbo Granny. Now, <clears throat> okay, so the main problem is that Turbo Granny has like actually lost it <laughs> like she, she dropped it and now i don't know like like how we're going to get it back so maybe we'll have to go back because here's the thing no i guess he she didn't really say when she dropped did she say when she dropped it no she didn't so i'm guessing she probably dropped it after like we were able to defeat her from that point onwards because from that point onwards she was in inside okaru so from that point to this point within that time frame she dropped it somewhere you know because i'm pretty sure we remember that she actually gave it back to him in the tunnel and then you know like then we defeated her and uh, now she said that she took it again and then she dropped it somewhere so within that time frame like maybe we have to go back to all the places where it might be now and here's another thing i like like you know like obviously like we can understand like they're talking about like you know like she stole his balls or something like that but i still don't have any idea how that works like so he's just missing that part is that what's happening like like what and and here's the other thing if she dropped it somewhere like i have so many questions I, like like how like 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 how will we find it will, will, like like what will it be like you know like like it's just i don't know you know what i have no idea what exactly and how exactly it is and how she dropped it where she dropped it but honestly speaking like yeah like I don't know, like I said, it, 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 it seems like, you know, like, like, what can we do about it? Maybe, maybe Momo can... <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe Momo can sense the spiritual power within it and then track it down. I don't know how they're gonna track it down now, you know, or like what, like, maybe Turbo Granny can do something, who knows? You know what, let's just wait and see. Because, yeah, I generally have no idea what she means by the fact that she lost it. Like, what? Like, she just, like, she just dropped it like some random thing. Like, you know, in the, in the middle of the street, she just dropped it and it's lost now? Is that what's going on? Okay, right. So, <laughs> <coughs> and you know what's funny? I just realized another thing here. I never realized it, you know, up until now the ending song you know we see turbo granny over there you know and then there is a section you can see a golden ball like and you see that golden ball in the ending that golden ball is probably like a symbolic way of you know like referring to okarun's balls because if you know um the the ball is golden gold is king and ball is Tama. And as far as I know, I think they actually call like you know people's balls as Kintama. So in a literal translation, Kintama means golden ball, 
and it also means like your balls like as far as i my japanese knowledge goes and as far as i can understand so you know that ending scene with the golden ball is a very like you know witty like you know word play like you know like trick i think which is referring to his balls so i don't know like, again i know i'm i'm just I'm not 100% sure because i th- but i think that's what it is basically because kintama is, i think kintama is definitely like you know like someone's balls that is they're called kintama you know what let me just check like we have the internet with us we can literally check uh kintama yep yeah it's a it's a slang it's a slang for testicles or balls so and again kin if you if you break it up kin means gold and tama means ball like ball and round something like that so kin tama literal translation is golden ball and it is a slang for someone's balls wait a minute god damn okay um so <clears throat> yeah there you go so that is uh, I, like i i just realized now because i was looking at the ending again and i saw those golden balls and i was like maybe this is like some kind of a like a witty word play like you know like a like a joke that they're entering I, i'm pretty sure that's what they're intending you know because that's turbo granny and then there's like you know like the balls so you know that's definitely like intentional like word play over there uh so yeah that was today's episode basically it really episode was actually you know very it was very nice you know the first section was very cute you know that that whole first half of it and then the second half of it we get uh, presented with a new problem now and uh, yeah so there you go but at least like here's the good thing at least okarun will be able to use his powers now you know he can still use his powers um and so also i'm assuming turbo granny will be living with them i'm guessing she'll be just she'll be just staying there because like we cannot really let her go at this point because she just lost the whole damn thing you know so now i don't know what we are going to do with her she's probably going to stay and maybe help us out to track down okarun's balls <laughs> Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry for the noise guys. It's uh, this Diwali here today. So you know, like there'll be a lot of noise, a lot of crackers, a lot of like stuff. Um fireworks and everything. Okay. Um <clears throat> Okay. Um so yeah. So that was that. That was today's episode. Okay. A few things I want to discuss about. First and foremost, we get introduced to that girl, not really properly introduced, but we got to see her. You know, the purple ha- uh, not purple, sorry. The pink-haired girl which we see in the opening. So, you know, and uh, she is she has a very you know i uh, what can i say like a snobby personality you can see that she was literally like saying that oh you you see like you know that guy like he like you know like he, like he, she was talking nicely to okarun and then she was you know like oh like you know like she he must be very like you know happy to talk with someone like me you know like like that kind of personality um yeah and obviously um <clears throat> as it wasn't happy with that so she just whacked her on the head with the with the with the thing what was it like that that wash the the thing the bu- bucket thing or whatever <coughs> right so there you go um anyways and like i said i don't remember if they exchange numbers i cannot remember if they exchange numbers but if they didn't they'll need to because you know otherwise uh, this is Like, you know stuff like this might happen again where they just trying to meet each other but they end up like missing each other again and that was pretty comical you know that first section where you can literally see each of them are doing what the uh, and you know what's the beauty of the first part the beauty of the first part is that each is thinking what the other who is going to do and they're trying to do that that is the beauty of the first part because you can see throughout the first ex section Okarun is saying I want to talk about ghosts with Ayase-san while Ayase was saying I want to talk about aliens with Okarun and as you know each of them didn't believe in the other so now that 
you know, like they know each other and they know that each of them likes the other thing that is Okarun likes aliens while she likes ghosts. Each of them are trying to, you know, like to, to start a conversation or to like, you know, like talk with the, the other person. They are happy about discussing what they like and what they enjoy. This is like the reason I'm saying this is like, you know, like such a beautiful, like, you know, like section is because this is what I guess you could say liking someone is, is where you like what the other person likes as well, or you try to like, you know, like find enjoyment in that as well. Like, you know, in the other person's happiness lies your happiness. That is basically what liking someone is or loving someone is. So, you know, she is thinking about what Okarun is going to like talking about, and that is why she wanted to talk about um, aliens with Okarun while Okarun was thinking about what she would like talking about and she was, he was thinking about talking about a ghost so you know that is the thing they were thinking about what the other person would like and that is you know like the perfect example of what love is that is you know finding enjoyment in the other person's happiness um, yeah like, that's what I'm saying like the first part, part is done really really beautifully um, and also the fact that each of them are trying to think what the other person will do and they're like for example you know like he goes she goes to the I think cafeteria or something like you know like each goes to the part where the other person is supposed to go and they miss each other that's how like they miss each other completely and you know and that part was pretty comical as well like where you can see that each are sitting down in the bench so when I say is leaning back Okarun is leaning front so they never like they never like seeing each other like one is like leaning front while the other is leaning back so they never cross eyes so that's how they were never able to find each other up until the very end you know where each is like doing the opposite thing to what the other person is doing like she's leaning forward he's leaning backward he's leaning forward she's leaning you know like backward and then finally when the bell rings that's when they like bump into each other, you know, that, that whole section. Yeah. So yeah, that was the first, that first part was really nice. I really liked it. Like I said, it, it really like encapsulate what it is to like someone, I guess, you know, in that way. Um, <clears throat> and then we have the, the, the other section, you know, the, the, the final section. And is there something else I want to talk about um, over there? No, not really, because, you know, um yeah it was pretty straight cut what what happened over there is like she, she as she explained as turbo granny explained um when they you know separated when the, the whole thing happened she kind of like transferred into okarun again and kept quiet over there until she regained her power back and now she's like oh i'm going to you know destroy you guys um, and now here's the thing, I genuinely don't understand why she's so pit like, like, yeah, I can understand at the beginning, like, it was like a whole, um, what can I say, like a, maybe like a misunderstanding where Okarun went there, not misunderstanding, but, you know, like, Okarun treaded in her territory, that, that part, like, I can understand that, but after all of this that has happened, why is she so hell-bent on trying to kill the girls? I genuinely don't understand that. Like, you know, because we saw this, like, you know, she's, she, she's like, you know, she's, like, she's empathetic enough to go to the tunnel and, you know, like, and, and try to console those girls who died. So, I guess she's probably mad at the fact that, you know, um, people like human beings who are living they can go like you know be this cruel by killing like you know like like here's the thing she's a ghost kind of entity and the the girls that died in such brutal ways they are also like spirits and ghosts so i guess you know like like by staying with them and seeing their situation and feeling bad about them little by little she had this she has this whole prejudice again and against anyone living anyone who's living she like you know probably hates them because she like you know because she's seeing what is happening to these girls when they're becoming spirits and everything so she like equally hates everyone all the living people 
because they can fall that far they can be go that far so it doesn't matter if it's okarun or some other person you know like mo isa or someone else who genuinely are good people and had doesn't have any bad intentions she equally hates everyone it's like a you know like that kind of a thing for now i guess maybe that's why i don't know that's the only thing i can think of otherwise why is she so like why does she have so much grudge against like you know like these guys it's probably that you know yeah either way but in the end you can see when i i say was like like come on like you know like in the end i can sympathize with you because you are um you know like you you went there and you were going there to console the girls so deep down i can understand i know that you're a good person you know so let's just you know let's just for, like you know like just you know like like forget this yeah and in the end turbo candy was like fine but the problem is she lost his balls so i don't we don't know what's going to happen now like i said was going to exchange you know like her power in exchange of his balls but now it cannot be done because she lost it she dropped it yeah there you go and that was that was my overall impression <coughs> okay so yeah that was that uh, that was my overall uh, impressions of today's episode now let me talk about this episode scene by scene in the very first scene you can see um okarun is just there like waiting uh, for ayase and uh, he's like practicing his like you know greeting skills he's like oh like this is how i'm going to say good morning to her like you know like this and he was thinking about all of that um and he looks in front of the gate and sees that she's waiting now for a moment i thought that she was like it is the punchline is going to be like oh okarun is going to think that she's waiting for him but she's actually waiting for her friends you know those two girls i thought that was going to be the punchline it was actually the reverse okarun thought that she's waiting for her friends while she was actually waiting for okarun so okarun thought that she's waiting for her friends and so she's he's like okay like let me just ignore her you know like i don't want to put her in an awkward situation uh you know because i doubt she's waiting for me so he ignored her and went in at which <laughs> i said like what the hell <laughs> she follows him and then just like you know like nudges him like this and she's like come on you know like you should like you should greet me at least like come on <laughs> yeah so there you go and uh, that was that after that um you can see they say goodbye like you know each go to their classes yeah and then okarun gets like hit by the other guy and almost falls now okarun here you can see he's he's like i don't care like people can push me people can say anything to me i'm not going to focus off and on any of those negative stuff because i was able to talk with isasan you know my my, kind of my very first friend <laughs> right and he's thinking of all of that <clears throat> and then we have ayase thinking about okarun you know and her friends are like what the hell is this like what is happening did is she is she bummed out because of you know her ex boyfriend or something like what happened um yeah anyways like while everyone is thinking about all of these things over there you can see is is thinking about talking to okarun about aliens while uh, okarun is thinking about talking to is about ghosts like i said this is the beauty of this scene which is that each is thinking about what the other person will like to talk about and you know and that is what liking someone is where you find happiness in the other person's happiness um yeah so you know like throughout the whole like throughout the whole session throughout the whole like you know like up until lunch break each thinks about the other and then they're like as soon as the bell rings they're like okay let's go and talk to them and uh, you know talk to okarun or and okarun thinks about talking to ayase so each of them thinks about where the other person would go first they go to their respective classes each of them asks the class and, and they they're not able to get any information because uh, you know i say like for i say situation nobody knows okarun because she he's just ignored that much in his class while for okarun okarun is not able to go and bring up i say's name because he's shy 
not shy, but he's like, you know, socially awkward. <coughs> yeah, so there you go. Either way, each of them goes to, like, you know, Okay, so Okarun goes to the cafeteria while uh, Ayase goes to the school store. So, you know, each thinks like, oh, the other person will go there. So they go to the place where the other person might go. And they miss each other again. The same thing in repeats where they go to the other place now and again misses each other. Finally, going down and sitting at the bench, again missing each other. Now, I actually thought, like... He, she was going to come and sit beside Okarun without even realizing that Okarun was there. But it didn't go that way. Each was sitting in the different bench on the other side of the doorway. So, you know, and like I said, this part was pretty funny where one person was like laying back while the other person was like, you know, like leaning forward. And when the other person leaned back, the other person leaned forward. And that's pretty funny because none of them actually, because if both of them were leaning back at the same time, they would see each other, you know, the, you know, your peripheral vision will go there and you'd be like, oh, there you go, there's Okarun or, oh, there's Ayase san But that never happened because when the other person was leaning forward, the other person was leaning backward, you know. So it took so long for them to actually bump into each other because you can see, uh, you know, like when the bell rings, they bump into each other. Now, while they were over there, each thinks that the other person doesn't want to talk to them because, you know, Okarun thinks like, oh, maybe, maybe like, you know, I was just getting too excited. Like, you know, why did I assume that she wanted to talk to me? While, uh, you know, as I was thinking like, oh, maybe I was too clingy, you know. So <clears throat> anyways, <clears throat> yeah. And then they finally, like, you know, like when they bump into each other, like, you know, like they're like... It's not really a kiss in that sense. They just bumped their like mouth into each other's mouth, and you know, like yeah, like. <laughs> anyway, so both of them each is like, oh, I was looking for you, and they're like, oh, what, really? You know. Anyways, they go, you know, they're kind of awkward about the whole situation. And this is where things kind of go in the wrong direction, because Ayase's friends, you know, those two girls, they witness this, and they're like, oh my god, they're kissing. And this is where, you know, like, as you can see, Ayase gets embarrassed, so she immediately, like, retorts to that, and she's like, oh no, like, nothing of that sort, you know, like, why would I do that? And because of that, like, Okarun also retorts back, and, you know, this back and forth starts happening, and, uh, yeah, they go their separate ways again. And uh, this continues, obviously, uh, you know, after that as well as we see. Um, but the problem goes a little bit, you know, in a different direction here because all these aside, Okan genuinely has a problem now because when she, he goes to, uh, you know, uh, goes to the washroom, he sees that he's missing them, you know, and this is like a genuine problem. So he, she, he comes to talk to Ayase, but obviously Ayase is still embarrassed about the situation and she doesn't know that this is the situation. If she knew this was the situation, I'm pretty sure she would actually go and talk to him. But she doesn't know. She, she has no idea. So she's like, oh no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. And, you know, and uh, then, like I said, the misunderstanding kind of like escalates a little bit because Okaru is like, oh, like you, like, like this is the degree you don't want to talk to me. Like, you know, it's, you, know you don't want to talk to me. Like it's going to, you know, like, uh, where's that part? Um... Okay, is this, so is it that embarrassing to be friendly with me? Yeah, and then he leaves. Obviously, her two friends are like, come on, man. Like, that was, that was a bit too far. Like, you could have just, you know, like, even if, yeah, like, you could have just talked to him. And they also said, like, you know, if, they, if he was genuinely just your friend, you wouldn't react like this much, I say. Um, and if there was nothing else other than that. <clears throat> Okay, anyways, so that's that. And later on after school, Okarun bumps into this girl and she's like, oh my god, are you okay? I have, you know, like, I have a water bottle in my bag, so maybe that's what hit you. And yeah, and, you know, Okarun is like talking to her, you know, embarrassed and everything. And this is where the Aisa sees this and Aisa's like, what, didn't he say that he has no friends? Um, anyways, the girl moves forward and then you can she hears the girl talking to her friend 
and saying stuff like, oh, you see that? That guy was so happy. I just talked to him and that's all it takes. And then she, not, like, she doesn't stop at that. She starts bad-mouthing him, which pisses Ayase off, obviously. And she uses her telekinesis thing to whack her on the head. And, you know, it's not just like a little, like, takes the thing and drops it on her head. She actually whacks it. She actually uses force to whack it on her head. Like, that is like a, that, like, contains grudge. You know, like, her, her, um, <laughs> she, 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 like, actually hit her. Um, anyways, and then she's like, oh, oh, Karun, come on, let's go. Like, these, like, you know, this girl, will, like, you know, some people will never understand. Okay, wait a minute, what does she say? Here we go. Some are more fit to have washed up falling on their heads than girls falling, than guys falling for her. Like, you know, they would never understand your charm or something like that, she says. Um, you know. And she like, she like, actually like, spoke it loudly, like in front of them so that they can hear it. Um, either way, they are going back and uh, then I said then apologizes. He's, she's like, I'm sorry, like, you know, I shouldn't have done that. You know, like, I, it, it was just that I was embarrassed with that whole thing that happened. Like we bumped into each other and like touched our like, like lips, that, that part. Um, yeah. Anyway, so that's that and misunderstanding solved and this is where Okan is like, I have a problem. So the problem, he tells her that he's lost his things again. And Ayas is laughing and Granny is like, this is why I told you to show me. Why didn't you show me? <laughs> okay, anyways, so, and you know, like, and she asks like a genuine question. She's like, like, this is, like, why didn't you realize it? And Okan is like, I don't know. I just thought it was there. I never, like, really, like, you know, like, actively tried to, like, feel it or anything. Like, I, I thought it was there, but then I realized it's not. Uh, yeah, I guess maybe, you know, like, like, it's not that he's feeling pain or anything. Like, it's, it's just, you know, like, 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 here's the thing. Like, every single body part of yours, you know, you don't really... 24 7 think about them or like you know like think that oh yeah i can feel it like if you actively think about it yeah then you can feel your hand or your leg or your balls i guess um but unless or until you actively do that like it doesn't really you don't really think about it like that it's just there and you never really realize that it's there um so it's, it was something like that i guess you know unless or until he went to the washroom he never realized that it wasn't there because he wasn't really even thinking about it. He, he thought that it was there and yeah, you know, like I said, he's not really feeling pain or anything. If, she, if he felt a pain or something, then maybe he would have understood way before. But no, he's not really feeling any pain or anything. He's just, you know, chill with it. So, you know, I guess it makes sense. Like that's why he wasn't able to understand. Okay, then, uh, you know, like as his grandmother says that I'm going to look into your soul. So then she's like, I can see something. And he tells, she tells Ayase to look at it and Ayase is like, yeah, I can see something as well. So then they bring out that um, cat. Okay, oh, I, I think the, those cats, you know, with the hand like this, they have a particular name. What is it? What are they called? Are they called Manekineko? I think so. I think they're called Manekineko. Yeah, okay, Manekineko. Yep. And like they like you know they're told to bring good good fortune and good luck or something like that so yeah they bring in a manikin echo like a you know, little um like statue and with the talisman on it and um granny's like all right i'm going to do it so i'm going to whack the thing out of you using that paper you know thing and ash is going to grab it and bring it out that's what's going to happen now okram did get a little bit scared he was like, oh, like, won't my soul come out? But she's like, no, that's not going to happen. Only the undesirable part inside of you is going to come out. That is the foreign spirit inside of you. Your soul will be there. Which I guess makes sense because, you know, if you whack someone with that thing and if their own soul comes out, that will be a big problem. <laughs> so, you know, his soul is there within him, but the other foreign element within him is going to come out. So... She does it, like, you know, she does it multiple times, and, uh, you know, and then finally, she, like, you know, Ayase is able to grab it and pull it out, and it gets transferred into 
the mane kineko now i have a thought that now here's the thing i think that the reason why the tribal granny went into the mane kineko is probably because of the talisman isn't it because you can see like i said grabs it brings it out and then she's suddenly like oh i lost it you know i don't think turbo granny will deliberately go inside the mannequin echo you know i think like she got sucked into it or something as soon as this thing came out and you saw the talisman turned red you know and now she's stuck in there so she's like oh no <laughs> and this is where they try to grab it and she starts running away you know yeah there you go so finally i is able to find it out i say feels the spiritual thing and goes to that little storeroom where tribal granny is just there throwing a throwing a tantrum and she's like you know and she explains what she did she explains how she went inside of okarun waited there for the perfect time for her power to come back and now you know she's going to she's like now i'm going to take your balls as no she's like now i'm going to um you know yeah now i'm going to take your balls as hostage now this is the part where you know at first she didn't realize it but then they explained that you are actually in a pro more problem than us because your consciousness is inside the mannequin echo while the power is within okaru oh no this happens later wait a minute this happens later first he starts threatening them and he tells okaru that oh uh, take a knife bring a knife and kill these two women over here um you know because otherwise like i'm not going to return your boss you will forever lose it like you know like you cannot lose me though if you lose me you lose your boss and uh, you know and i'm sure you don't want that so, un so unless and until you want them back you have you'll have to kill these two which pisses off okarun so much he transforms here and you know this is where you can see even turbo granny is surprised and you know iss grandmother explains that only your consciousness is within the mannequin echo your power is within okaru so you okaru probably turned into this form so you are the one who is actually um you know in a problematic situation in a disadvantageous situation here you know <laughs> and then uh, and then she, suddenly turbo granny is like i'm sorry like a sensei <laughs> and ISS grandma starts whacking her with the 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 thing you know okay so and then uh, you know in the end ISS is like come on like you know like let's just you know let's just let's just let this go like you know like we also know that you are not that much of a bad person you were going to those tunnels to console those girls so you know there you go like so let's make a deal um you stay within the mannequin echo okarun has your power you return okarun's boss to him okarun returns you back your power so everything will be you know like an exchange we will do you're happy with that she's like fine i'm okay with it but there's a problem i lost his boss <laughs> she's like i dropped it somewhere and now i don't know what the hell is going to happen yeah so you know how will they track them do they have gps i doubt that <laughs> will will they able to track it with the spiritual pressure or whatever i'm not really sure maybe who knows will turbo granny be able to help maybe you know what let's wait for the next episode i'm very curious how they're going to track his boss so there you go that is it that is my reaction to episode number 5 of dan 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 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out there you go that is it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of dan 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 until then goodbye and have a nice day